running combine and have that view over there, that's just pretty awesome. That's almost as awesome as watching that Mike Les guy on YouTube. That is one good looking tractor and grain cart. Hey everybody, Farmhand Mike here. I'm sure all of you know this by now, this is old news. But we're going to be running two new Versatile tractors on the farm this spring. And to start out with, we got a new Versatile 210 Nemesis tractor here. And also, you're going to see later on in the video, a new Versatile 460 Articulated 4-Wheel Drive tractor. I've been posting several pictures the past couple weeks of both tractors on my Instagram and my daughter and I did some YouTube live streams featuring both tractors, doing walk arounds of the tractor, taking them for a drive, just uh, talking about them, answering questions and so forth. So to start out here we got the new Versatile 210 Nemesis and got the tractor in, uh, went through the pre-delivery checklist, put the goals on as you're going to see here and just getting things ready to go here. As I'm editing this video or narrating this video, it's still just a bit too wet to be in the field for good. Uh, we did get to use this tractor just a tad bit, but like I said, it's early and uh, the ground is just not 100% fit yet. In the next couple minutes of the video, I'll just show you some of me putting the dual tires on the back of this tractor and so forth and just moving it around and testing a few things out.
This tractor is now ready to hit the fields. We hooked it up to the Sunflower Field Cultivator, but we will be putting on the Kinsey Planter and be planting soybeans with this tractor this spring. The 460 showed up a little earlier than I expected. I was actually not quite ready for it. Had a neighbor come over with his skid loader and long forks, got the doles picked off for us, and we called Courteous Tire out of Greenville. He come right out and put the doles on. After the doles were put on, went through the pre-delivery and so forth, and we now have this tractor hooked up to a 42-foot field cultivator, and definitely you're going to be seeing a lot of these tractors in my videos come this spring. In some of my past farm show setup videos, I've featured putting the doles on the four-wheel drives and so forth, so what we normally do works real good with these drum doles having a truck with a hoist on it here, and I just run the tractor up on a block, and then we just uh, set them on the tractor, and off we go. Both tractors are now officially ready to go, so I just got Hank to drive them up and down the driveway where I got a few video shots of both tractors. As I said, stay tuned. You're going to be seeing a lot of these tractors in the field this spring. Hopefully, we have a way better spring for 2020 than we did in 2019. We can get in the fields at a decent time and have nice conditions. Here's a few drone shots of both tractors parked in the driveway just waiting for the fields to dry out. That is a good looking team of tractors if I do say so myself. Probably going to hear me say that a lot in videos this spring. Anyways, just waiting for the fields to dry out and I promise to bring you lots of footage here on YouTube and we'll plan on doing some live streams from both tractors from the field. That's going to do it for this video. Thanks everybody for watching and don't forget to go through all that, you know, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like, dislike, comment below. But most of all, thanks for being a fan of Farmhand Mike and stay tuned for many more videos.